devotee, the residual impressions, thoughts of objects appear unending like the waves of an ocean. When will all of them get destroyed? Maharshi, as the meditation on the self rises higher and higher, the thoughts will get destroyed. Devotee, is it possible for the residual impressions of objects that come from beginningless time, as it were, to be resolved and for one to remain as the pure self? Maharshi, without yielding to the doubt, is it possible or not? One should persistently hold on to the meditation on the self. Even if one be a great sinner, one should not worry and weep. Oh, I am a sinner. How can I be saved? One should completely renounce the thought, I am a sinner, and concentrate keenly on meditation on the self. Then, one would surely succeed. There are not two minds, one good and the other evil. The mind is only one. It is the residual impressions that are of two kinds, auspicious and inauspicious. When the mind is under the influence of auspicious impressions, it is called good. And when it is under the influence of inauspicious impressions, it is regarded as evil. The mind should not be allowed to wander towards worldly objects and what concerns other people. However bad other people may be, one should bear no hatred for them. Both desire and hatred should be rejected. All that one gives to others, one gives to one's self. If this truth is understood, who will not give to others? When one's self arises, all arises. When one's self becomes quiet, all becomes quiet. To the extent we behave with humility, to that extent there will result good. If the mind is rendered quiet, one may live anywhere. Devotee, the residual impressions, thoughts of objects appear unending like the waves of an ocean. When will all of them get destroyed? Maharshi, as the meditation on the self rises higher and higher, the thoughts will get destroyed.